I don't know what it is about driving a complete box around, but it's just amazing. I gotta be honest with you guys, I really tried the whole supercar thing for a while. As cool as it is, because people look at you cool. Over the past years, I have a lot of money tied up in cars that I don't drive and that I've never actually used. As I had mentioned, I'm trying to kind of change that up. I'm competing in drifting this year. As some of you know, I just recently traveled to Australia. I bought a car over there and I spent, you know, two, three days drifting that car. I'm trying to free up some space, some time, some extra money that uh, is literally sitting around so that I can actually put it back into my actual hobbies. Now, I've absolutely loved this car. It's so awesome. This is a one of 12 Carbon Air body kit from Poland. We imported this, did all this, and I've had it done for, I would say about eight, nine months now. And I've driven it around a decent amount, taken it to a couple meets, and it's been really cool. I gotta be honest with you. I hope it goes to a home where this car is appreciated. This car is so cool. There's really no expense spared with this thing and you know it was one of those things where it's like i started building this car and committing to this wide body before i had my anxiety taken care of so like i had the money and i was like well i have the money i should just put it into a car that i drive you know my daily car or whatever and so i did and now i'm like i wish i would have invested that into a, a nice trailer setup or something else so we're saying goodbye to the amg today um we are consigning it it's actually the same place i bought the car from it's premier autos in dallas if you want to go look at it go check it out out, go talk to them, but uh, we are going to be listing it there. hard to sell modified cars because it just is you know people want to lowball you people just don't understand being a youtuber and people like you know adam tj like they know exactly what this is it's why we all choose consignment places to sell our stuff it's like you can't like we can't sell on marketplace like some people can there might be one serious buyer in 400 messages between haters and people who just wanted to talk to us and i absolutely love the people that watch my channel and like it makes my day seeing people like email me and and comment on videos saying they love my videos but it's like when you're trying to sell a car, not really in the right place. All that to say, it's just a lot of messages to weed through. It takes a lot of time, it really does. Selling cars is no joke. That's why it's some people's full-time job. And right where we got her, we come back. Oh, brother. Oh, gotta let them know we're here. I mean, I miss this car, but like, I don't know, man. I just bought a freaking Ford Falcon. I just bought a Ford Falcon in Australia. I had more fun, more smiles with that little turd than I've ever had with any of my nice cars. Okay guys, well, hopefully this goes to a good home. It's about to go into their shop. I'll miss it, but it's just, man, it's one of those things where it's just like, I got so much other stuff going on and I have really truly found like, have like fun in so much other, like <laughs> just my other crappy cars. through the showroom <laughs> the the main doors that might have to keep it back here <laughs> we premier autos dallas you guys want to check it out talk to these guys they will help you out for sure you know, there's nothing wrong at all with owning nice things and wanting amazing things for yourself. It can be a really healthy aspiration for yourself as long as you have healthy goals 
and uh, you keep yourself in check. There's nothing wrong with owning nice things, having nice cars and stuff. Where I think it kind of becomes a gray area is a lot of people will have these goals and aspirations for themselves and then someday, Lord willing, they actually end up getting them. It sort of will change their mentality and make people think that they are now better than the people who are doing what they used to do and are sitting in a place where they used to be. I've known a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers, businessmen, uh, that have sort of like completely done a whole 180 because life started going well for them. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that'll start treating people differently because a little bit of money came into their life or because, you know, they're views, their success, their things are just going pretty well for them. I want to just encourage you guys, if you have big goals for yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, I still have big goals for myself. Uh, huge goals for myself. I'm still, you know, I'm pushing myself to, to get where I want to be every day because believe it or not, I'm still not even close to where I'm wanting to be in the end. But just because things are going well in your life, just because you might own something cool or own something better than most does not make you any better of a person. Uh, it doesn't mean you, sometimes, I mean, it honestly doesn't always even mean that you've worked harder than somebody else. Life is weird because things just happen, right? People get insanely successful doing absolutely nothing and people will struggle for a long time doing the absolute most. I think what's, it's kind of hard. People's opinion about you gets real jaded when you start introducing really cool stuff into your life. I could talk about that for a little while, but really ultimately, I want to go back and actually say something again. I didn't explain this well, I don't think in the beginning. I might have cut it out even at this point. The reason I built my AMG was because the best way to describe it was I had never taken care of my anxiety, okay? So if you guys know, I didn't drive for a long time because I literally would sit in a car and have a panic attack, couldn't go travel, couldn't do anything. Um, thank God, like, I, I've been able to do that recently. I literally, like, I had this money. I don't want this to sound bad. Anytime you mention money, people just start getting crazy, but it's just like, I had money, right? And I was like, well, I don't drive. I can't drive because it gives me anxiety to do that. So it's like, what do I invest my money in or what do I put my money into? So I sunk my money into the car that was my daily. You know, it's like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to spend some money, I'll do it on the only car I can drive, the only car I do drive. And so I did that. But then once I started driving again, I got back into the driver's seat and I was like, dude, driving's fun. You know, I bought the S13 uh, last summer and uh, in September, October, October, I finally, the first time in my whole life really, I started drifting again. And uh, I actually had a day where I, without any practice, without any time in the car prior, um, I went to a new track and I killed it. Like I did really, really well. And it was great because it was the first time in a long time where my brain actually functioned correctly when I was in the driver's seat. I was analyzing and I was actually able to show that I do have somewhat of a, a natural ability to drive a vehicle. It just made me feel so good. And so I realized like I have all this money tied up and so many things that I won't use, that I won't drive. The AMG being one of them, like I just don't need it. And there's, there's things in this garage that I'll still be selling as well. But uh, you know, with, for the AMG in particular, I have well over six figures pumped into that car. There's a lot of things I can do for $100,000, including getting all these cars running and getting myself as much seat time as possible and uh, potentially compete and go pro. So when this car sells, it'll help a ton. I have so much more that I still want to do. And uh, it, the car is a really cool sort of picture of of that part in my life and it was super cool but you know it's not it doesn't give me joy to drive it around people just stare at me they probably get the wrong idea about me and you know it just gets kind of old the supercar thing's sick would i get another one someday maybe we'll see but right now i'm gonna enjoy my little jdm cars and have as much fun as i can that's what i want to tell you guys today you know i that's that's kind of what i wanted to make this video about more or less about like, it's saying bye to the car, but it's more of like, just ending that chapter of myself. By the way, this hoodie's amazing. We're gonna be selling it soon, just so you know. So I wanna end with this. Your situation does not define who you are. And this could, mean, this could be a good or a bad thing. Like you could have wild success, does not resemble who you are as a person. You could be struggling, you could be at the bottom right now, Still, that that does not resemble who you are. You know, I think who you are is really truly defined on how you've battled the valleys of your life. And I can talk about that in another video. But you know, if you are doing well, do not look down on others just because their time hasn't come yet. Don't look down on others just because something's worked in your life 
and maybe not for theirs. A lot of people need to learn humility and there's no really, there's no great way to, to teach that except for life lessons. So that's all I'll say, but I wanna end with that. I'm not actually sad to, to see the car go. I'm more excited to see what we can make of things now that I'm truly like passionate about cars again. I love you guys. I've actually got some stuff to do. I'm off to go drifting tonight. I'm driving to Oklahoma City, so I've got to prep this car a little bit more and uh, you'll have a video about that pretty soon. So I love you all. Thank you all so much for your endless support. And I am excited to just continue this journey, continue just doing my best and uh, continuing having fun with cars, making YouTube videos. And I'll be doing it as long as you guys watch. Have an amazing day. Peace.